Welcome to another DigitalLifestyle.com video show and uh, this is a bit of a shaky hand cam because I just really wanted to show off uh, Tuna Free MCE and some of the uh, the features it, that, it, that it's got and I didn't have my full kit set, set up with me so this is using my little camera so apologies for that. I've spoken to Martin the developer of Tuna Free MCE on a future media centre show but I wanted to show it off here so let's just take a look. This is running on Windows 7 on my Samsung NC10 netbook so really what we're going to see here is how to get on demand and live TV on uh, something like a netbook or anything and uh, it all works without any tuners or anything just over the internet. So let's have a look at say uh, BBC3 and go into BBC3 and you can hear you can see all the shows recorded on BBC3 so um, if I can pick a show And then this is going to where it start the playback. So first you get the little BBC indent. And now the show should start. And there we go. This is the real hustle high stakes. So it's running a window. I think we hit it enter twice. Jess, Alex and, and we're in full screen. And this is when I'm my NC10, so this is a little bit underpowered on my little netbook, but I've tried it on other machines and it works really well. So all the BBC3 content is available on there. Let's um, go back. So we've got BBC One, BBC Two, Four, we've got Channel News, and we've got independent channels. I'll look at those in a minute. I got to say BBC One. So these are BBC One shows on demand, same as the others. But what we can do is go on a live stream. Let's try that. So we need to use the mouse for that. But there we are, we've got a live stream of BBC doing Media Centre, no tuner needed. And uh, seems to be working pretty well. I Mel Martin's working on things like the, uh, the remote control options as well. So those are the BBC channels and they use Flash and I found the ITV and the Channel 4 and the Channel 5 sites seem to work better, so let's have a look at ITV. So we've seen we have, we've got a live stream of ITV. Let's have a look. It's on pre-recorded. We first get uh, some adverts which you can't uh, skip. But you see, this is actually running as proper MIDI Center video as opposed to uh, the flash stream. And there we go. Got the recorded TV show on there now. Look at channel four. Okay, so let's just pick a pick a show. So here we've got channel 5, a lot of content on channel 5, let's try one of those.
And there we go. Actually, that looks, I must say, that looks better quality than the, the uh, some of the other streams as well. So, that looks like a nice stream. So, there we go, that's uh, channel. And there's no commercials, and it's just started straight away anyway. That's quite nice. So, we've got all the uh, major UK channels live streaming uh, from looks like ITV and um, some of the BBC channels. And what you'll also notice on here is we've got Hulu, and we've got all the Hulu channels on here. But unfortunately, um, we can't make advantage, take advantage of those because of the uh, region content prote protection. So here you can see all the shows, uh, but I can't actually play any of those because they'll be blocked because it'll detect that my IP address is a UK address and it's not uh, able to work. But there is a way around that, and that's something we're going to talk about on the Media Centre show when Martin comes on is through VPNs and uh, Martin's included some options for VPNs as well there so you can have it auto VPN uh, into a, uh, a VPN server that gives you a US IP address and then you can pick up that content and then when you go on to say BBC content it knows it doesn't need that VPN address but Martin will explain that on the uh, Media Centre show and also on his blog as well which will include a link for that in the show notes so that's a quick look at um, Trinity Free MCE. Some other stuff on here as well. We can search by dates. We can actually do a, um, a title search, and that's pretty good. I like that. So we now can actually go through all the episodes and uh, and choose what we want to uh, and have a search through. Very much like Media Center, um, you know, the TV guide. So. Uh, it really is taking that functionality of TV without a tuner. Uh, so I'm just running this now on my NC10. I've got it wired up to my network, but uh, that's only because I've no Wi-Fi signal in, in this room. And um, it works really well. So more details for it, links on the show notes, and, listen, and look out for um, Martin coming on a future show. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.